Major world powers have agreed to resume free trade negotiations. Talks were suspended six months ago because major economic powers could not agree on easing farm subsidies. The head of the World Trade Organization has announced 30 nations have agreed to go back to the negotiating table, exactly but it's still not clear when the, the talks might resume. The announcement was made at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. South Africa's president, Chabon Beki, has welcomed more, the move. More frequently than we do want the formal negotiations to resume. And indeed to say, let's why don't we try and conclude this, all of these negotiations by the end of the year? Because they are really about the lives of people. They are, they are life and death issues. They are about eradication of poverty and uh, you know, making sure that we can have something to eat. Back home, poor people in Mpumalanga are prepared to die for gold. Retrenchments and shaft closures at the Barberton mines have left hundreds destitute. They are now risking their lives by illegally digging for gold in old, disused mines. They risk being buried alive at any moment. Tamala Mahlaudi has the special report. Beneath these picturesque Mpumalanga hills, lie traces of the world's most prized metal, gold. The precious metal was discovered by prospectors in 1884, spawning the mining town of Barberton. Barberton mines produce over three tons of gold per year. But now, with their gold deposits having been exhausted, dozens of mine shafts have been deserted and left in ruin. <laughs> but the gold rush is far from over. <laughs> the traces of gold that remain are an irresistible lure to those desperate to make a decent living. <laughs> Pirate miners brave the treacherous depths of shafts like this one. Death is just one false move away. Recently, five men were buried alive here when the tunnel they were in collapsed. Rescue efforts were called off by authorities as being too dangerous. But the miners' friends were having none of it and eventually retrieved the bodies themselves. Okay, Kuka. Kuka, you might even though the five deceased miners' remains have been removed, some of their colleagues are preparing to return underground. This makeshift shaft over here is visibly unstable, and the pirate miners themselves say it threatened to cave in on several occasions during their rescue operation. Yet, they will go down, even with the knowledge that one wrong move will result in it caving in. <laughs> We are going to carry on and we will return to steel here. It doesn't mean that because others died down there, the mine is dangerous. It's mine bosses who are trying to kill us by sealing off shafts. But mine management says sealing off the mine shafts is the only way to save lives. We are constantly trying to do more and uh, uh, as this specific scene you've seen we have actually sent a bulldozer up there about four months and we have bulldozed the whole area. We are in the process of sealing off more areas. However, unfortunately the illegal miners actually continue to dig open where we've closed up the holes. Come on, Bugaran. Yeah? The risks are high. So are the rewards. A kilogram of gold can fetch 140,000 rand on the black market. It will attract more men to this area. And more will die beneath these Mpumalanga hills. Tumale Mushaudi, E News, 
Bobbiton. <laughs>